My name is Christopher May. It is April 14th, 2021. I'm here to talk to you about the skeletal system. So the function of the skeletal system is to provide support throughout the body. Um, it is also used because bones are rigid. Um, they can help us um, with leverage and in terms of movement and moving throughout the world. Um, there's also a degree of protection that the bones offer as you know the bones protect the, the bones of the skull protect the brain and the rib cage protects the lung and the heart um what it also um, provides as well is um a mineral um d -d 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 deposit in which we can tap into so if any organs are lacking um certain minerals like calcium like phosphates or magnesium or other minerals um, or elements then we can take from that and spread it out through our body. Um, and then also, uh, that's where bone marrow is formed. So this bone marrow um, differentiates into red, white, and um, red, red and white blood cells and platelets. So these are very important in terms of oxygen transport, um, killing off disease, and, um, and clotting blood, respectively. So the... Um, the uh, composition of these uh, uh, bones are between compact bone and spongy bone. So compact bone um, has a lot of, uh, there, there are um, osteons, which are um, cylindrical bodies um, that are co compact together in, in a matrix. And these provide the support and the uh, hard protection that um, these bones need. Um, however, they are in one direction as cylinders so if any any strong pressures come from the side that's something where um, uh, they, they could easily break however that's why we have spongy bone so spongy bone instead of the osteons they have the spicules that go in a lot of different directions and they're able to uh, this high surface area um, takes the pressure from um, any environmental stressors um, and distributes them um, across the bone uh, protecting them so on a micro level, um, two um, bone cells I want, want to talk about are the osteoblast and the osteoclast. So the osteoblast help build up bone and the osteoclast help break down bone. Um, and when they work together, um, you, it can be good for um, building stronger bone, remodeling, repairing, um, just things that um, actively keep bone um, changing to adjust to its environment. So on a macro level, um, what what typically consists of in, in, a, in a long bone um, is there is bone marrow in, in the middle, and the, the, the bone marrow that's produced um, it works in congruence with the circulatory system and some of the nerves in the middle, and then you also have uh, go, going superficially to that you have the um, um, the endosteum, which is a single layer of cells that um, pr that provide um, s stem cells for, for, for bone growth. Then you have spongy bone, superficial to that. Then you have compact bone. Then you have the periosteum, and the periosteum um, provides stem cells. It provides um, uh, it, pr it provides blood blood vessels, uh, lymphatic vessels, um, sensory nerves um, s to help protect and. Um, nourish the the bones. So the uh, for for formation of these bones, it's uh, through intra um, um, intra membranous ossification. So through intra membranous ossification, um, what happens there is um, a lot of um, flat bones or like um, in, in the skull or the clavicle. Um, many of these bones are created with no precedent for um, cartilage. However, um, in the endochondrial endochondrial ossification, sorry, these are very difficult words to pronounce. Um, the, the, it does provide a um, cartilage um, base, and then the the ossification happens um, by depleting from this cartilage base and um, building up in um, 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 ap, um, um, appositional um, growth, which is in circumference, and uh, in, um, in interstitial growth, which is um, through lengthening. Now, the axial skeleton is the head, the 
uh, vertebrae and, and the uh, ribs and the sternum. So what the axial skeleton does primarily is for protection, um, much less movement, though there is movement obviously in, 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 in these different bones. Um, but you have the skull here, which has bones like the frontal bone, the parietal bones on, the, on, the, on both sides. You have the occipital bone, which is the base of the skull. Um, moving anteriorly, you have the temporal bones. And then um, moving a bit superiorly, you have the um, zygomatic bones. More anteriorly, you have the maxillae, um, which are uh, not flat bones. They are considered... Um, uh, uh, pneumatized bones because they have cavities within them. Then you move down, you have the mandibles or the jaw bone. Um, then you move su um, su superiorly and you have the nasal bones. Um, it's not the nose, it's just the bones that um, provide the fr framework for the cartilage in the nose to grow. Um, then you go deep to that, you have the vomer. The vomer um, separates the um, uh, nasal cavity. And then um, in, in our um, orbitals where the eyes are located, you have the lacrimal um, bones, which um, have a cavity where tears are created. Then you have the palatine bones for the hard palate um, that um, superiorly cover our, our, our mouths. And then, then, uh, then, then deep to this um, um, interior surface, you have the ethmoid bones. The ethmoid bones are also pneumatized and they're ir irregular bones because they do have um, they, they do have cavities in which you can um, tr you, you, you can trap air um, you can slow down the, the, the air pressure you can humidify it you can, you can warm up the air before it goes into our bodies. Um, so then you have the um, nasal um, uh, condylase so of the ethmoid bones the superior, the inf the, the superior, the um, middle, and then below that, an actual bone, um, an actual different bone is the inferior na na nasal condylate, which also helps with that um, air movement when you're breathing. And deep to that, you have the um, you the you uh, you you have the you have the, um, you have the, cis you have the cis cismoid bone. So cismoid bone um, is deeper to deep deep to the ethmoid bone. And that allows for um, it's also pneumatized, and there's a lot of different um, uh, ca cavities in there, and there's also a lot of uh, uh, um, canals for cranial nerves to um, go down. So then, look at the vertebrae. So the vertebrae has uh, five cer cervical spine, or five cer cervical, or sorry, seven cer cervical vertebrae. You have 12 uh, th 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 thoracic vertebrae, five uh, lumbar vertebrae, five um, uh, sac sacral vertebrae, um, which can be fused uh, later in life, and you have three to five typically um, uh, a coxial um, uh, ver ver vertebrae. Um, and then to um, round out the axial skeleton, you have the ribs, so ribs one through seven, these are um, tr considered true ribs because they connect to the um, they 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 connect to the uh, sternum um, directly through coastal um, through coastal cartilage. Then you have ribs eight to ten, which connect um, through coastal cartilage, but they all merge into one, so they are considered false ribs. And then you have the um, you, you have ribs eleven and and twelve, which are considered floating ribs because they do not connect to the sternum. So, um, switching on to the appendicular um, ribs, we have or the appendicular um, skeleton. We have the um, clavicle. It connects to the um, manubrium, um, which is on, on top of the the sternum, um, and then the uh, the uh, clavicle connects to the, the scapula. Um, the scapula connects to um, our first long bone, so uh, the, the humerus. And then um, distal to that, you have the ulna, which is on the meat is is the medial uh, forearm bone, and you have the radius, which is the which is the um, lateral forearm bone. Then you have the, um, the the carpal bones, which are the uh, 
So the so approximately you have the uh, the, the scaphoid, the, the lunate, the um, the uh, um, tr um, tr tri triketrum, the 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 pisiform, and then distally to that you have the um, trapezium, the trapezoid, the capitate, and the, and the hamate. So these connect to the meta the the metacarpals. There are five of them, and then the metacarpals attach to fourteen phalanges. Um, which there are, there are two phalanges in the thumb and three on all the other fingers. So then moving down to the um, um, pelvic girdle, what it does is it helps protect the reproductive and digestive tract. So you start off here with the with the um, uh, the, the the ilium, then you move down to where we sit is the ischium, and then you have the pubic bones. There are two two to each of those. Um, they connect to the um, axial uh, skeleton via the sacroiliac joint, um, and then um, connect to that. You have the long, you have the long bone of the femur, it's the biggest bone of the body. You have the acesamoid bone um, as the light like the patella. Both of these bones connect to the uh, tibia, and the uh, and 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 the tibia connects to the fibula. Um, on, on the foot, you have you have the um, the the, the tibia connect to the uh, to the talus, the ankle bone, uh, the calcaneus is the is a heel bone. You have the um, navicular, which is medial um, to, to to the foot, but it's it's it's, it's on medial foot, but distal to the um, talus and the calcaneus. You have the um, cu cuboid, which is lateral to that. You have the three cuneiforms. You have the five metatarsals. And then you have 14 phalanges again. Um, so two, two on the great toe, you know, uh, uh, m m m m m meta metatarsal one, and then you have uh, three on each of the other toes. So this, this can help me um, as a family physician because I'm going to have a lot of patients who are going to come in with broken bones and they may not know it. I have to treat um, osteoporosis in some, in some of my patients. I'll have to... Um, also, uh, just no bones in, in, in general and know when to defer to, to in, in, or, in orthopedist. So thank you. Hope you enjoyed.